In this video, I'm going to show you how to find ebooks on your artist. Now, I bet you're asking, why do I need to look at a book? They're too long. But the reason is, some of the best resources for art history or history research in general are books. So I just want to make sure you know how to find them in case you need them. So let me share my screen. I'm looking at the research guide, and if I click on the Find Books tab, I scroll down, I'm going to see a link to our library catalog. So this is where I'll start. So I'm going to do a simple keyword search in this database for the name of the artist. And you have to be really careful that you spell the name correctly. I'm putting her name in quotes because I only want resources that have both of those names next to each other, right? I want her full name, right? And I have 16 results, but from what I see, it looks like most of them are in print, which means they're physical books, which we can't get right now. I'm going to limit to what's available online. And what I'm seeing is a lot of films. And you'll need to ask your professor if you're able to use um, videos as a resource for this class. So that's a little frustrating. But thankfully, we are in the 21st century. So if I go back to the research guide, you can see that I have provided a link to a resource called the Internet Archive. And the Internet Archive is a free, publicly available repository or collection of digitized materials. So we'll search for her here using that same kind of search. And you can see I have a lot of results, all different kinds of things. So this is where it gets kind of cool because we're dealing with contemporary artists. There are books about her. Um, but there are also things like videos of her installing her art. Um, there are interviews with her. Um, so, you know, you really have to work with your professor to ask her which kind of sources you can use, but some of these are primary sources. They are, are things that were created by her or for her shows. So with the Internet Archive, it works a lot like the reserves collection at a library. So if I wanted to look at this book, for example, I can borrow it for an hour and read it. And to do that, you'll need to create an account with the Internet Archive, and it's pretty easy. But if you have problems with that, you can ask me for help. So I've now shown you um, two resources you can use to find ebooks for your research. But I know a lot of you guys just want to go straight to the scholarly articles. So if you click this Find Articles tab, you will see a video that will show you how to search our databases.